standard third subject evs so students in the last lecture we have learned about our need for water now i'll be learning about more about water in a lesson number 10 more about water on smelling of flower we get to know whether it is fragrant or not when we taste slice of ripe mango it tastes sweet similarly what do we get to know when we see a glass of clean water does it have smell can we tell how it tastes after drinking it yes we get to know that a pure water does not have color smell and taste now let's do an experiment take two glasses filled with water and label them a and b add a spoon full of sugar in glass a and rangoli in glass b now stir the water in both the glasses with a spoon what do we see the sugar in the glass a is not seen but the rangoli particles in glass b are seen from this we can conclude that sugar dissolves in water the sugar is still there in water though we can't see it the rangoli cannot dissolve and hence it is seen in a glass of water so students like sugar jaggery and salt also dissolves in water now here is a question for you all suppose if two glasses like a and b fill with water are placed in front of you then how can you tell which glass has sugar dissolved in it and which glass has salt dissolved in it right you cannot tell the difference unless you taste the water now taste the sip full of water from glass a the water is salty which means salt has dissolved in glass a now taste the sip full of water from glass b the water tastes sweet that means sugar has dissolved in glass b water takes the taste of the substance dissolved in it when sugar and jaggery is dissolved in water it tastes sweet and when salt is dissolved in water it tastes salty water takes the color of the substance dissolved in it so students now let's learn the characteristics of water with the help of an experiment take water in two beakers add red ink in one beaker and blue ink in another beaker you will observe that the water in which red ink is added it's turn red now let's do a different experiment place a lighted candle on a table now try to see through from a piece of cardboard can you see the candle no we cannot see the candle now see the same candle through glass we can now see the candle from this we can conclude we cannot see things through cardboard but we can see things through glass an object is called transparent when we can see through that object for example glass the object through which we cannot see anything is called an opaque object for example cardboard now let's see a candle through a glass filled with water the candle is seen thus we can conclude that the water is transparent now that comes through your mind is the if water is transparent then why can't we see the bottom of a lake 
during rainy season the reason being that we can see the bottom of a lake when the water is clean however during the rainy season the water in a lake gets turbid that is opaque due to which we cannot see the bottom of a lake here is a quick revision of characteristics of water pure water is colorless odorless tasteless and transparent so students now here is an another experiment take two saucers and two glasses take some wheat or jowar flour in one vessel and water in a jug let's add some flour in one of the saucers and water in another saucer next pour some flour in one glass and water in another glass what do we see we can see a small heap of flour in one saucer and in the glass but the water take the shape of glass and the saucer water does not have a shape of its own it take a shape of a vessel or a container in which we pour it here is an interesting question related to this experiment suppose if we are carrying a bucket of water while coming down a slope and the water spills out then will the water collect in a heap or will it flow the water will flow down the slope but if the water fills on the flat surface it will spread students now again we will see one more experiment take water in a beaker and heat it on a burner what do we see after some time water start boiling and the little later water level in the beaker decreases why does this happen when we heat the water in the beaker it turn into vapor as the water level in the beaker goes down the form in which water is held in the air is called water vapor let us now hold a lid in the steam coming from the water with the pair of storms observe the lid after 5 minutes what do we see we see water droplets on the lower side of the lid why does this happen steam when cooled changes into water the lid held in the steam was cool so the steam which comes into contact with the cold lid cools and forms droplets of water let us now take some ice cube in a glass sometime we can see that ice has turned into water what has exactly happened here when ice is left uncovered it start melting to the heat present in the air the exact opposite happens when we cool this water it freezes and turns into ice again the form in which a substance may be found is called state so students water has three states solid liquid and gaseous ice is the solid state of water water which we use in our daily life is a liquid state of water water vapor is the gaseous state of water we will do an ex now we will be doing another experiment dry a glass inside out using a clean cloth now add 5 to 6 ice cubes in it after some time when the glass becomes wet from inside we see that the outer surface of the glass has become moist funny isn't it how does it happen there was water vapor in the air around the glass when we added ice cubes in the glass the surrounded area and the glass cooled down and 
form small droplets and water droplets make the glass moist from the outside so students now here is one more experiment sprinkle a few drop of water on a frying pan we observe water sprinkle on a pan makes small round like beads and disappear how did this happen the heat of the pan changes water drop in water vapor all at once but water drop vanished now let us do study from some examples from our day to day life biscuits lose their crunchiness and become soft during the rainy season do you know why during the rainy season due to moisture present in the air biscuit lose their crunchiness and become soft we see that when we put our clothes on the clothes line they dry why does this happen because the heat of the sun turns the water in the clothes is known as a water vapor the himalayas are always covered with ice why so this is because the temperature in himalayas become very low this lead to peeling up of ice do you know how ice fruit is prepared in factories fruit juice and color is added to sugar water and then this mixture is kept in refrigerator this water then forms a ice fruit so students now let us remember what we have learned in this lesson first water does not have color smell and taste it is transparent second many substances dissolve in water third water takes the shape of the container in which it is poured fourth water spreads on a plain surface and flows down from a slope fifth water has three states solid liquid and gaseous state thank you